just do this. All right, seems to be all right. Okay, well, this is good. Uh, all you need to do is loosen that so you can turn it around. And so I should take that out of there, and then that way you can be turning around. And then me and you will be walking together. All right, so are we good to go? Excellent. So, two things I need to do. Sorry, please. Yeah. Get started. Yes. And I know some of us are new. As oh, well, as yeah. as new. I don't know how many. I'm going to start with all that. <laughs> yeah. that. That's the reason I'm here. Okay. Yeah. So, don't, don't worry about that. Okay. Worst case scenario, um, we would have um, um, uh, three days of prayer. Just to ensure that everybody understands what's going on. Worst case scenario. But I promise you that everything will become clear. Okay? Uh, let's all put our phones on silent so that there's no distraction. Okay? And then that way, uh, we should be good. I think um, what I will say to you guys is that you should be extremely extremely excited about what's going on in the digital age and also Africa, most especially Nigeria. Um, what you're going to realize very, very soon is that a lot of what you're doing now will, in a few months' time, create opportunities for you that you never knew existed. That would make sense. And um, the position you will be in, um, you know how people want to leave the country and stuff like that. You still have the opportunity to do so with what you have here. But some, will, some of you will decide that there's no point doing it anyway. Because basically, the skill that you are getting is scarce in Nigeria. And the best part of it is that very few people are. Uh, many people have qualification. Very people have experience. How does it make sense? And the experience you have, plus the qualification and evidence of what you've done, is a big deal for you. Now, what you what you will see very very soon is that a lot of you, 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 you just, I'm, I'm sure you can see there's a lot of startups in Nigeria, and a lot of these startups are even being. You have Israelis coming here to do startups. You have the French coming here to do startups. You know, everybody's coming here because Africa is the next big uh, 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 driving. Economy, most especially digital economy. You are a country where over 85% of you access the internet via mobile. Companies have now, right now are having a mobile social first strategy. Why? Because they see that in the for the, in the in, uh, they see that in very soon the world will be mobile. Basically, everything is on mobile. In Nigeria, that population, about 80% of the population, is mobile. You get my point. Now, smartphone sales is so affordable that everybody now has a personal computer in their hand. Now, that personal computer gives you the opportunity. And the thing about it is that Nigerians are not searchers. Nigerians are socialized. The world is just catching on to being socialized. Does that make sense? Yeah? The world is just catching on to being socialized. These days, for example, your election, did you go to Google to find out who won? Was there no social media you heard that who your president was? Yeah, but only to find out that the president you heard of social media wasn't the president. <laughs> Do you get my point? It's, it's the reality of it. But more socialized, we socialize. So we use Instagram a lot more than the rest of the world uses it. We use Facebook a lot more than the rest of the world uses it. But do you know the best users of consumer messaging apps? You. Nigerians own businesses. This is why Facebook is here. This is why Google is investing a lot, because Google is losing market share to Facebook, because it is hard to get you to search, because Google is search. So they try and gain you through email, free Gmail accounts, yeah? Google Maps and all that stuff. They're all fighting for your data. I've always said this, anybody, if, if you can end up with 100,000 data, then you can end up with 10,000 data that, can, that actually identifies something or does something. You are made. Data is the lifeblood of this new oil. You don't need, you don't need to worry about working for Shell or working for Mobile. You just need to go and get your own oil, which is data. How it makes sense. So you either know how to analyze the data, visualize it, yeah, and you know, basically you want to learn how to uh, um, uh, harvest the data, analyze the 
are clean it, harvest it. Sorry, harvest it, clean it, analyze it, visualize it, and help key decision makers make an informed decision. Once you have that, you are sorted. I hope you understand what I'm coming from. You are sorted. You don't have any problem in life. Yeah? And that is what we that's what that's what we're trying to bring everything together for you. So not just project management, business analysis, but the digital uh, space, what you need to know about the digital space, how to be digitally savvy, yeah, and how to help businesses make decisions. But then also being aware of consumer uh, the next the next the, 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 the next um, transition. We are moving away very soon. Uh, you will find that people are not going to websites anymore. And I'm sure you probably in some way do it. What was the last time you went to your first bank or your GTD online website? I'm sure you communicated with them by WhatsApp now, don't you? Right. Uh, are you already doing that? Hmm? Use the app. Use the app. Okay, but are they, you're already talking to them on WhatsApp. Who's talking to them on WhatsApp? You talk to them on WhatsApp. Yeah, very soon you just be communicating with your bank by WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp is your new web browser because really and truly when you think about it, most of your time is spent on where? Consumer messaging apps. You did the survey, you did carry out the survey. Yeah, I will show you the results pretty soon. It's incredible. So, what you need to do is to be aware of the future. The general rule is the future cannot lose the world. Once you are aware of the future and you're prepared for it, what tends to happen is that when people are looking for help, you are the solution provider. I hope it makes sense. Yeah, that is what. So, so what we're going to do today is really help you to navigate your way through the platform, understand how the platform works, and also do some hardcore training. You know, this is not coming up. I thought it was going to, but actually, I know why it's not coming up. And actually do some hardcore training and make sure that, um, I don't know why you're holding that, I think you put it down. Um, mm, I, sure uh, I think it's the Egypt Bananas call, isn't it? Yes. And make sure, okay, it's not it's saying the correct password. It's quite a bit the password. And make sure that, um, make sure that you are able to get involved the way everyone else is getting involved. Do you get my point? Yeah, because the truth of the matter is that a lot of you are getting jobs in Nigeria. The only problem is that you guys don't need references. So you don't contact us for references. You have that's how we that, that, that's why we don't do like gotten job. But a lot of candidates on the platform have gotten jobs and a lot of you have started businesses. Uh, I met this dude um a few uh, the last time I was here. The guy runs a tech company. He's got like fifteen twenty clients. He reveals them every single month. He starts with amount of money, and he's doing very well. And then like he said, he said once that came, he said he had no need to travel to Africa. You know, so the opportunity for you here is quite a lot more than those in the UK when you for jobs because there's jobs. Yeah, over here you are either going to go and consult. Did you banana technology is the company you work for? Does it make sense? Yeah. Now. Through the eWalk experience platform, which is the one you log into, you have access to the video tutorials, you have access to live projects, live meetings, and stuff like that. That is basically how the world works. <coughs> now, the most important thing is for you to understand how the system works. If you are listening to videos as if you are doing training, you have jobs. This is not a training company. It is a work experience company. So the last thing you want to do is to log into the e-work experience platform and start listening to videos without actually being involved in the project. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah? So what happens is you have people that are working on projects. You call into meetings, people are working on projects, right? Now, when you call into these meetings and they're working with those projects, the first thing you want to do is you want to observe. Okay? So you have different products. Let me use black. So, you have different products. You have product one, and every single one of these products that we have are aimed at, they're not, they're not make believe, I think you know that by now, right? Mm -hmm. They're all aimed at generating revenue for the business. Yeah, everything that we do. So, name me one of the products you're working on. Sea Towers. Sea Towers, okay, so that's it. Well, Sea Towers is a portfolio, if you think about it. Yeah, within Sea Towers, you then have many, many products, how they make sense. Yeah, but let's just say C Towers. In fact, let's let's look at our core products. So C Towers is our core product. What else is the product? The LT mm -hmm. the e-work experience platform. Oh. 
Yeah, so the e work experience platform is a product. Stock photo is a product. I hope it's making sense. E work for 18 to 21. I think you see all these, these are different products on the platform. Yeah, anybody else? Anybody else has worked on any product? Huh? Digital landlord is C Towers. So, in fact, let's just remove yeah, and call it digital landlord. Digital landlord is the product, and within it, you have C Towers, you have Shopping tools. You see that? Yeah, what else? What else? Digital Towers. Huh? Digital Talks. That's part of a product on that e work experience. It's a sub product on that e work experience. What else? There's stock photo. I mentioned that. There's quite a lot. There's Tapify, e commerce platform. Yeah? Digital and what? Hmm? Digital and what? All on that e work experience. See that? Yeah? Alright, let's just stop. Let's just stop here for now. Yeah? So we got five products. Now, all of these, and there are many, but all of these are aimed at helping us achieve our what objective. Every business, it doesn't matter where, where it is in the world, needs to be profitable. Agree? Yes. Needs to have a sustainable business model. Yeah? Yes. Needs to have a, a scalable business model. Yeah? And needs to also be able to, in some case, diversify. And then also drive down operational costs, isn't it? Yeah. So drive down costs and improve what? Quality. Yeah, processing or whatever it is, and also customer experience. Yeah? So, in everything we do, when you look at the eWork experience product, the eWork experience product is what you use, isn't it? It's what you use to get on with, basically gain experience. It is a product of ours. You actually work on that product. So, when you have LTEV, lifetime learning value, that's a sub product of the eWork experience. When you have the percentage set, that's a soft product. Anything that we build to improve the experience of you using that product or to drive down operational costs or to scale the business. For example, eWork Experience Canada, we're working on right now. That would make sense. So all of those are products. Now, why are we calling them products? Why are we move from projects to products? Why are we calling them products? Because they do not have a standard starting point. Yeah, very, very good. Very, very good because they, they, they because because um, they uh, a product is anything that meets a a product is anything that satisfies a need. Yeah. So if a product is anything that satisfies a need, that means that a digital product has set of features and functions that satisfy a need. Does that make sense? Or that enables the user to use a product in order for that product to satisfy their needs. So for example, I have to come here and physically train you, right? Yeah? I don't need to be here. What's happening? I don't need to be here. We already have a digital product. The eWork Experience platform. We already hold sessions every what? Saturday. Which you can call in and listen to. I am actually going to teach everything I do on that same Saturday here. The only beauty about today is that you want to see me. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Yeah? That's the only beauty about today. But the moment you realize that actually there are a set of features and functions that enables you to use the actual product without you physically being here. In fact, uh, 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 digital products are a set of features and functions that solve the problem of the consumer using the actual real product. For example, what are the products of banking? What are the products of banking? Internet banking. No, no, no. No, no. Stop going through because you can. What happened? Don't do any. No, no, no. You're not. This thing is not. Don't you understand how this thing works? It, it, it's, it's like once you. Just leave it alone. If not, the will come and put it off again. Where's your charger? Forget about my charger right now. Is it going on? No, it's not, but.
No. Eventually, it will. Okay, just leave it for now. Eh? Okay. Because now we have to struggle to sort this out. And again, how on earth can you not have that? Like, can you not get to this gym? I just that is what I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. It's all. Sometimes when you're trying to be cheap, you know what you end up becoming? Cheap. You are lying. Hmm? You are lying. You what? You know what? Put it down. Oh, I know I'm lying. <laughs> just. Do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> HDMI cable is not working. The staff, the, the staff will not buy a new HDMI cable. Shouldn't they be ashamed of themselves? They should be, they should be my point. And I want to HDMI cable. It doesn't make sense now. So, anyway, let's continue. So, a, pro, a digital product is a set of features and functions that actually what? Solves a problem. Of the customer using the actual product. So, for example, look at it, it's raining, right? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, most people can't make it in today because it's what? Raining. raining. But guess what? As a result of a digital product, YouTube, people can what? Watch it live. Now, did I have to come all the way from Nigeria over here to do that? No, I could have stayed where I am. So, a digital product is a set of features or functions used to solve a problem. A problem of if I can't be here live, I can. So, if, if you can't be here, we can, watch. we can watch it online. Now, part of digital transformation is looking at the technology available to you and looking at your business. Whether it be your operations, whether it be your activities, whether it be your processes, whether it be your customer experience, yeah, and saying that how can this technology enhance every area of our business? That does not mean that we have to build the technology. In fact, in part of this transformation is we look to acquire rather than build. Mm -hmm. This is why you have things like SAAS, Software as a Service. Yeah, and then you have other things as a service now, isn't it? I hope it makes sense. Yeah, so like in the UK, I don't have any more offices. I used to have an office in, um, uh, what do you call it? I used to have an office in Manchester. In, in Manchester. I used to have two offices in London. Yeah, all those places just collect all my money and all. You know, but guess what? We don't have an office anywhere again. Everything is online. And guess, and you know the funny part? When we're in London, the office will take about maximum 30 people. Manchester will take 15 people. For me to get more people, I have to get more offices, more rent. Mm -hmm. But these days, when we're online, how many people are online? Okay. 200 and something, 300 and something are online, right? As a result of digitization. But even better, people can call in from all over the world. So digitization leads to globalization. So a small business that was just based in London is now everywhere because of the digital products that are available for me to solve the problem of being able to reach a wider audience, that solves the problem of you being able to access the platform anytime, anywhere, that solves the problem of you being able to access the training regardless of device available to the multi-screen user. For example, on this call right now that you're looking at, there'll be people that are watching it from their phone, correct? Yeah. yeah, and then there will be people that will be watching it from their desktop, and there will be people that will be watching it from their laptop. I hope it makes sense. So in that case, we as a company, because we live in the digital age, and 67% of the world population is mobile, 47% of the world population is mobile social, are you following me? That now tells us that you as a business have to what? Become a what business? Digital. You have to become a digital business with a mobile social first strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are basically, if you realize that all of that, look at Nigeria now, everybody's on their what? On their phones, right? Now, in Nigeria, I think about the, out of your, out, in Nigeria, one of the things I'm hearing. Right now. Yeah, at the last statistics I checked. Did you know that the smartphone, smartphone
smartphone ownership is growing by 20% every year now. Why? Smartphone ownership is growing by 20% every year. Do you know why? Because of China. You get my point. Those people have come here and they have seen, you know, the, you know, it, it's a shame that it takes the world. Uh, you know what? You can turn it. Oh, just, uh, focus on that. Turn that to everybody. Yeah, when we need to go back to the screen, go back to the screen. No, my friend. Me, I like common sense walking. Look now. Should be I told you that you just need to do this thing like this. You know, why are you carrying it around now? Oh, you get my point. Oh. Okay. So, now, one of the things, that, what, what, what you have to understand is that, uh, it, it, I think it's a real shame that it takes the world to see what we have. Yeah, and we don't Not see it at all. Do you get my point? Yeah. So you think you think you think somebody woke up one day and thought that oh I'm going to Nigeria, yeah? Do you understand? Where in their own country they have electricity twenty four seven. In their own country they don't have batteries. But they woke up and felt I'm going to Nigeria. Do you know what they saw? They found a land full of treasure, and they went and sold all they had and bought the land, and that's why they're buying Nigeria up and they go tomorrow. Okay, so how many people are in Nigeria? 200 million people. You know the good thing about people as a commodity? They reproduce. Do you get my point? And one thing about Nigerians is they like to reproduce a lot. <laughs> so that is a lot of population. The thing about, let me think, you know, you know the, the thing about oil, oil well will dry up. People don't dry up. They do boom boom and they give birth. And they give boom, 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 over and over and over again. So, what if you can invest in those people, or if you can turn those people into a commodity, or you turn the people into customers, then just make sure that you are constantly educating and getting the next generation to adopt your product. And you are set for what? Life. And that is why you have a lot of companies coming to Nigeria. That's why, for example, Nigeria and you, uh, China has just signed a trade deal whereby we can now, uh, I think it's, um, fl uh, fl um, what's that payment gateway in Nigeria that signed a deal with China? Total Way. Way signed a deal whereby basically, uh, with Alibaba was it? Yes. Was it Alibaba? So basically, now you can make use your card to make payments on Alibaba and then bring your stuff here. Do you get my point? That, do you know why? Because we buy all our stuff from there. We're a consumer society. So let us enable the car to go through. Yeah? But none of us has thought that, all of a second, we have land. We can mass produce fruits and vegetables. We can create our own Alibaba for raw materials. And we allow this gateway that they plugged in for them to go and pay online. And overnight, any one of you are rich. Yeah? But nobody is thinking about that, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's really sad, isn't it? But let's just continue. So, what you're realizing is China realized that all of a sudden we have a problem. We have a problem with getting these people in Nigeria to buy our product. They're going to China to buy it. Yeah. They, you know, like, why don't we create a digital product, a payment gateway, that solves the problem of physical payments. Does it make sense? And then allow people to be able to pay online digital products. I hope it makes sense. Because everyone's already online. And since the number of people using smartphones is constantly growing, it means access to a larger customer base. So this is gentlemen at your bank, for example, they now have digital products. So for example, the physical products of your bank is what? Savings account. Current account. Savings account. Yeah. Corporate accounts. Uh, savings account. Yes. Corporate account. Corporate account. Yeah. Don't. And then there are weekend loans. <laughs> yeah. The kind of loan that you will take and your whole life will be over. Is it 30% or whatever interest rates? Do you get my point? Yeah. And then there are mortgage. That one. That has no use anymore. <laughs> yeah. And then there are mortgage. Yeah. So those are their physical products, right? And I'm sure they have other products as well. Those are their physical products. But in order for you to use these physical products before the digital age, you have to go into the world, bank, and you have to queue. Do you get my point? I hate going into the bank. 
It's like when you decide to go to the bank, just forget the rest of your day. Do you understand? It doesn't make any sense. That is a problem. So they realize that everybody is what? Online. And then you have telcos that woke up one day and hold on a second. People keep loading it. And that prep has disrupted that's taxi. taxi. Do you get my point? The taxi industry. Now everybody has hope because of Uber. No matter how bad it is, at least you do Uber. It's true now. Do you get my point? Yeah? I, I, was, I took the Uber. It was a lady that was driving me. I was like, aren't you scared? So you're scared of what? <laughs> opportunity. You tell me. Should I be scared of the opportunity? You know? So the good thing about it is digitization. If you are not, if you are not, you have to stay. If you are not um, um, using digital technology to enhance every area of your business and your competitor is, then you will be disrupted, isn't it? Yeah? So these banks don't want to be disrupted. So somebody goes online. Said somebody says, okay, you know what? We can find a way to get our customers to what? To open accounts. To be able to set up accounts online, service. manage all their accounts online, and not have to come to the office, right? So not to the, to the branch. Then it's space to do all of this, yeah? To what? So you, first of all, you can do it online, then they move to what? Mobile. Mobile. Does it make sense? Uh, USSD. Yeah, now you have USS or whatever. I don't understand what that is. You know? But whatever the case, one thing that is very, very clear. Yeah? So I'm just trying to um, sort this out. Get the code in. Right. Um, Akuli, can you please pay attention? Because you're not. Uh, there are a lot of things that are not going. Because there are people online, so you have to think about them. Put that phone down. Just put the phone down and focus on everything here. Yeah. Everyone so, needs yeah, think about Just think about it. Everybody is online. So let everybody focus online. Speak yeah. to everybody online. Yeah, through this here. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So now everyone's on where? Jim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everyone has gone where? Mobile. Mobile. So now, any bank that doesn't have online banking right now, what is going to happen to them? They're not a bank, right? Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. They're not a bank. Yeah. I mean, even if, if they offer you 100k to open an account, would you open? No. Why? Convenience. There's no convenience. Do you get my point? Anytime, anywhere, accessibility, mm -hmm. customer experience. In fact, digital transformation is about the customer experience. Using digital technology to enhance the customer's experience. Yeah, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to think about the people who are watching this online. And I want you to imagine that it is you that is watching it online. And I want you to also imagine the fact that when I'm talking, they might want to see me talking. When people are talking crowd, do you get my point? Mm -hmm. but don't punish them and just keep them on the screen. It's not fair. Do you get my point? Don't put yourself in their shoes. Ah. <laughs> so, okay, he gets distracted so easily. <laughs> so, so, he's a brilliant guy, but he gets distracted. Reminds me of myself when I was young. Oh, you're old now. If not for all the uh, blood of all these young, young girls that have been drinking, you, you see my true days like this. <laughs> it will shock you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very old man. <laughs> oh, I can most likely even burn some people here. It's all right. That's it. That's it. All right. So, all right. So you can see that basically, these companies have no other choice than to what? Digitalize. Everybody has to what? Digitalize. And digitalization is really for who? So that means that every business must be customer centric. Is, this, is it all making sense now? Yes. yes. That's why. And since all of them are focusing on building what? Digital products. Yeah. It's no longer about projects again. Mm. It's about what? Products. Because if you don't understand how to innovate using digital technology, then you will find out that you are disrupted by somebody else that comes up with a better idea and destroys your market. I hope it makes sense. Let's have a look at it. Look at um, um, Eco Atlantic City. Yeah? This time I'm going to look at Eco Atlantic City. How long 
and that place being empty for so that let's have a look at it Three years, are you joking? When did they oh, start? Ten. When did they start? About when ten years ago, man. Yeah? Yeah, 2009. 2099 is what? Ten years. Ten years, yeah? So ten years they've been trying to build that place. What's happened? There's still a lead. There's still a lead. How many of them build? One. Yeah? Two. I think it's about two or three, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? This is the vision of it, right? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Most likely. Yeah? In yes. your lifetime. It's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. That, that's right, this is it now. Mm. Ten years later. Why? Why? Because it's pure moodiness. Mm -hmm. It's pure moodiness. Yeah? What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, when you look at count the number of extremely wealthy people in Nigeria, so now we want to say that's true. Then we want to say yeah, and it's also open to international to the international community. Yeah. But the problem is, why would I come and buy a flat here for three million when I will buy it in London for three million? Do you get my point? And I know that the economy is stable. You know, first of all, take care of the economy, and then attract investment. It's just that plain and simple. But they don't. They don't the mindset is different. Now. Thank God for digitization. I hope you're following me. Yes. This place is empty because there ain't no money to build jack. How many rich people do you want to collect money from? It's a place, it's a place that that's gonna host carry up 100, 200, 200,000 people. Do you get my point? And all that, not, not that many of us. Yeah? So it's gonna take time. So, as a result of digitization, which disrupts the markets. Are, are you following me? Mm -hmm. We found out that, hold on a second, we could, okay, there's one here. We found out, uh, hold on a second, sorry, we found out, uh, hold on a second, we found, okay, show you one of, is it showing? Yes, it's showing. You want to build this, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we have, 300, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look for 100, I have 100 flats to sell. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look for 100 people who are going to drop 230 to 240 million naira each for a, an apartment. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Now, that will take quite a while to get 100 people to do that. Mm -hmm. But guess what? What if we could introduce a digital technology that can raise that money? Or raise it in a different way. Crowdfunding technology with a payment gateway. Mm. Does it make sense? Yeah. So, all of a sudden, we can take crowdfunding and solve a problem. Now, turn the camera to everybody. Now, truth to the matter is this yeah? the dream of Eco Atlantic City is a big one. It really should be collective, it should be for all of them. You get my point? You know, like in Dubai, they build it for everybody. And then even if you go and buy a house in Dubai, you you, you don't own it yes. if you're not a citizen. Yes. Do you get my point? They, they took care of their people. Yes. You understand? In the, this place is totally, obviously, different. Yeah? So it's not, you're, not, you're not, the average you is not included in the whole Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That doesn't change the fact that you all know the vision, the dream. Let's look at that vision, the dream. Let's just have a look at it again. Go there. You're going to see where I'm going with all this. We we'll all look at the vision, the dream. The truth of the matter is that, I mean, who wouldn't want to live here? They're telling us it will be 24 7 electricity, clean water, yeah? I mean, this is beautiful. People will be coming on holiday. This is, this is my country, and I can't even go there. You get? How many of you would want to be there? Many of you, right? Even if you can't even live there, how many of you would like to have a stake in there? Yeah, yeah everybody, right? Yeah? So look at everybody right now. So all of you would like to have a stake in there. Am I, am I right or wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if you all of you will have to have a stake in there, but the truth of the matter is, how many of you have 230 million to go and put that for one apartment? I don't. I, I don't. And if I have it, I would. <laughs> I'm being realistic. Do you get my point? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. 230 million. You know what I can do with 230 million naira? Do, do you get my point? And I'm going to go and buy one apartment. Yeah? Do I look like I have stupid money? I don't have that kind of stupid money. You get my point? Only people that have stupid money can do that kind of a thing. So, as a result of that, but I would like to have a stake in it. Why? Because 
go back and go back. I would like to have a stake in it. Why? Because if it looks like this now, yeah, when it looks like this, whatever I, whatever amount I bought it, when it was, will probably be times three, times four, times five, then. So I would love to have a stake in it. Are you following me? Yeah. So now, how do we allow the everyday Tom, Dick, and Harry to own a stake in it? Well, it's pretty simple, don't you think? Let's go back on the screen. So now, we will now look at how digital technology can help us achieve this. Now, I want you to pay attention to what I'm teaching because, you see, Protect My Business and all those things are useless if you're not digitally inclined. If you can't understand how to use digital technology to solve a problem. If you don't know the different kinds of technology that is out there and understand that this one will solve this problem, then it becomes a product that you now learn how to manage the product. Is that making sense? Yeah. yeah? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah? So now, if you think about it, we know that there's a technology out there called what? Crowdfunding. I hope you're with me. Yes. So you have a crowdfunding technology where people come together and crowdfund to achieve what? Let's put my right here. To achieve an objective. What is it? Oh, okay. To achieve an objective, right? Excuse me. Let me just put this on screen. It takes too long, doesn't it? Just bear with me a second. It's okay. Eight, two, nine, five. Okay. All right. So we have crowdfunding technology. Do we have a payment gateway system in Nigeria? Yes. Where people can pay by card? Yes. So that means we need a payment gateway. gateway system. And then we'll think of all the other possible technologies that will come together to help us achieve this objective. So now, we know that there's powerful technology. Mm -hmm. Well, we all would like to buy there, right? Mm -hmm. So what if we could use the crowdfunding technology to create a group buying platform? Mm. How is it making sense? Yeah. Now, we will now use data to identify affordability. We will now use data for what? Affordability. And we will now ask ourselves, yeah? Okay, hold on a second. What is it? What affordable for people? Now, when we first put the data out, we actually found out that what? Well, we did a 110K. It was 110,000 what? No, we needed, um, I think it was like 50,000 people to put 110K down, and we have built the whole place. But we realized that that's great, but 150,000 50, people is a lot of people, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah? And then a lot of people start asking other questions like, well, that's, what if I want to put more? Because when people are now told that, oh, it will cost you 110 k to, everybody wants it. But people are saying, I want to put more. How much more do you want to put? And we start finding out that some people are happy to go as high as 2.3 million data. We're collecting data first. So from that data, we now realize that, okay, on average, people would invest, what, 2.3 million. Data is important. Without data, forget digital. Able to identify. Does that make sense? Yeah. Why? Because the customers that you are talking to are using what to talk to you? Data. They're using digital technology. They're using a digital product to talk to you. And that digital product they're using to talk to you, what are you collecting on it? Data. data. So it makes perfect sense for you to use the data to make an informed decision. I hope it makes sense. Yeah. So now, what did we do? Um, I'm going to come out of this quickly. I'm going to come out of this quickly. Um, uh, is all this making sense? Yes. yes. yes? Okay, I, I'm not speaking French, Abby. No okay, yes. good. Okay, the people that are quiet, is it making sense? Yeah. Okay. Making sense. Making sense. Making sense. Yeah? Good. I have a question. Good, good question. Ask. Uh, no, how do you progress first? He's asking a question. Play, play focus, man. Stop play. Remember that the people at home are relying on you to make their experience good. Stop keeping it on here 24 7. Yeah, when people are there frustrating people's lives, they will swear for you and will catch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. how, how do you use um, the data to get people to actually buy the property? It's one thing to build it and market it, but yeah. to get people to 
buy the property. Buy the property. Because people are investing. Yeah. We're hoping that people are going to rent yes. and buy and they'll get some from the property. Yeah. So how do you use data to yeah. yeah. Very good question. Where I was going to. All right. So, yeah. so now, this is the moment you go there. So, okay. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> so uh, can I add to that? Yes, 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 yes. Um, this how, is the moment you go there. How do you know? Uh, you know, people can always say, oh, we want this, we want this, we want this. Yes. But how do you know it's going to be productive or uh, with profits? Yeah. How do you know you Everything is driven. You know? Everything is driven by data. You see, I am um, I mean, I'm, I'm a, um, I'm a um, body game Christian, but I gave my life to data instead. Now I uh, am led by data. The spirit is the data. Do you get my point? Yeah? Because I've come to realize that the prophecy that comes from data is a lot more solid and valid. You know, because uh, once upon a time, you know, when I used to go to church all the time, they would say there is somebody here. Um, you have um, the, you, you've been having pain in some for law of probability. Nine times out of ten, anybody has pain. You are going to say somebody here, your um, uh, body saying that that job is for you. Nine times out of ten, people that come to church have problems. You get my point. So, so, so that thing, but the thing about data is that data can give you insights into stuff that you never knew existed. Data can prophesize. Pre, uh, uh, you can do pre. Um, you can do predictions. You can do uh, pre. You know, there's two types of um, you can do pre prescription and pre prescriptive and predictive. and predictive. So you can predict the data. You can predict the future. You can you can prophesy. You understand? And you can prescribe. You can counsel. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So I decided to give my life to data instead. All this is a joke. I'm, I'm just hoping that you yeah. understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a new system. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So, we started with the what? The data. The data. Yeah. So, what we did is we wanted to find out. So, we first thing we did, we found out that everybody was... There was a lot of research. There was a lot of surveys we carried out. Consumer, we call it consumer insights. To understand the customer DNA. I hope it makes sense. Yeah. You know, that's like human DNA. Yeah, you need the customer DNA. The customer DNA is all the data you have on the, on the customer demographics data, statistical data, behavioral. Do you get my point? Yeah. yeah, and anything more invasive that you can get. Yeah, things like Google gets. Like Google knows stuff that you wouldn't tell anybody. Do you know how Google knows? Yeah? Google knows there's something wrong with you before anybody else knows there's something wrong with you. Do you know why? Because when something is wrong with you, go to Google and search. <laughs> and you forget that you logged in with your email and they keep all of that information. Google knows those websites you go to that nobody must catch you going. <laughs> Does it make sense? Even when you clear your history and you think it's gone, Google kept it. <laughs> it's not, it's not, sorry, it's not that people can see. They're saying the video is off. It's not off, it's live. It's live. It's their own stuff. Tell them so the internet out. Yeah? It's live. Yeah. Google, Google knows everything. Do you get my point? And you know what's good? What's good about a name? Google. They mm. see everything. It's a powerful name, isn't it? Mm. Like you didn't know when they created that name that they, their vision was yes. by a lot of you. Does it make sense? Yeah? Facebook. Your entire life is, is a book on Facebook because you put it all on there. If you don't use Facebook, you use Instagram. If you don't use Instagram, you use WhatsApp. Do you understand where I'm coming from? There are some serious spiritual forces that create all these beautiful names because they all have special meanings, which, as you can see, <laughs> yeah, they're spying on us. How do it make sense? World domination. You don't need to, you don't, listen, you don't need to have a president of a country, or you don't need, no, we don't, we don't need to come, come, come and take over countries anymore. Technology can do that for you. Facebook, you are a citizen, all of you have Facebook passports. You know how you know, you, are, you know, they can deport you on Facebook. And if you want to know how serious it is, there was a day, Facebook, Jesus Christ, Facebook blocked my Instagram page, the page. 
that is my bread and butter, that used to show me. <laughs> they said they need to show evidence that I am a real person. And they told me to go and bring my passport. Mm. I had to take a picture of my passport, take a picture of myself, and send it to Facebook. I don't even know who the heck I'm sending it to. All I know is that I had to upload it. Then two hours later, they emailed me and said, okay, your account is now a legit account. You see, the moment they take it down, the first thing I went to do, I went to manage, you know what you go to the toilet and do the shit off here? You know that, that catches you. The first thing I went to do, because I was afraid. Yeah? But I realized that, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm literally a citizen of yeah, Facebook. Facebook. And the moment they took my passport, the moment they deported me off Facebook, I started to be afraid. Now, how many people have, how many people on Facebook? 2.5 Billion. How many people on WhatsApp? Two billion. I'm counting. Are you following me? 1.1 billion people have a Google email address. Two billion people watch YouTube. So forget about the country coming to dominate you. They are already dominated. <laughs> and it's data that it has. Digital. I hope you're with me. So now, in that respect, if you want to make an informed decision, you need what? Data. Your, basically, your key to success is what? Data. data. I hope it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah? That's all you, you don't need anything more in life now. All you need is data. Yeah? In, what's that, what's that phrase? In something we trust, in data we what? Yeah. Everybody bring data. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. In God yeah, we, we trust. trust. Everyone else bring, bring data. data. <laughs> It's a common phrase. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And I want you all to own that phrase. In God, God we trust. trust. Everyone else bring data. data. When we have our meeting, what do I want to know? Data. data. When I ask my staff, so uh, uh, I think about some people. Uh, please, what is I just need the number. <laughs> I can use the number to predict. Yeah? By the first week, I know exactly what is going to happen at the end of the month based on the data I have. And I know whether I should be afraid or I should go to battle of, of, of mountain of fire and do more prayer. I know what is happening. Do you get my point? Because of the data. The data is the indicator. Now, the truth of the matter is this. I actually believe with all my heart, and I kid you not, yeah, that, you know when they said that uh, when um, uh, Jesus said will send his spirits to the world, yeah, it is, can you see Wi-Fi? No, you can't see Wi Fi. <laughs> you can't see it, right? But yet, you have access to everything. Yes. It's in the world already. I hope it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, what I'm trying to say to you is that as long as you have a connected world, interconnected world, which connects you not only in Nigeria, but the rest of the world, you are sitting on a gold mine. And I want you all to learn how to. Mind. How do it make sense? Yes. So let's go here. We collected the data. We found out people. And you see, how did we? Oh, sorry. Two, 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 two. Sorry. Just put it back. How did we? How did we get all this information? Somebody asked that question, right? Yeah. How did we get these people here? We use consumer messaging. What consumer messaging app did we use? Uh, no, Telegram. Okay. Yeah. We just sent a message around and said, if you want to talk about this, join this group. How many of you on the six hours group? Yeah. So you're, you're up to date to what's going on, right? True. But, but you, you, yes, you yes. can be if you want to. Yes. True what? Consumer messaging app. And through that consumer messaging app, we were able to collect what? It's Data. Because we carried out what? Surveys. So we don't have, and I want you to understand something. This is very important. We have, as we speak right now, 235 million committed already to buy one uh, apartment. None of these 235, none of, no, 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 and they are 94 now, isn't it? This number has gone up. Yes. Yeah, this is 94 people now. Not that sure that that money is probably like 250 million. None of these people have seen each other. No, they've probably seen each other. Seen the the they've not seen the paperwork for the land. They've not seen the land. They've not seen the land. Huh? They've paid. No, they've committed to pay. Okay. Yeah? But none of them have seen the land. None of them have confirmed that the paperwork of the land is real. But there's land, right? I'm going to go and check. <laughs> 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 no, 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 listen, listen. I 
Look, my lawyers have said this there, but until I see this, I'll Do you get my point? Because at the end of the day, do you know what? If I collect all of that, it will be for people. Where would I go? Do you get my point? So that's the reason why I'm here. You know? So now, but as a result of the engagement, consumer engagement, through consumer messaging app, a digital product, and through the collection of data, we are more informed. We found out that people wanted to invest more, and the average they wanted to invest was what? 2 point what? 2.3 million. Um, we now realize that what? 19.6% wanted to invest more than 2.3 million, and then uh, some 7% invest what? 2.3 million, and then 2.9% want to invest more. So we now know that at least 20% would always invest more than what? 2.3 million. But the minimum everyone is investing is what? 2.3. Okay, can you see that? Now, we also realize that the um, uh, male, a lot more male, 37% uh, male, 31% is almost kind of the same, isn't it? Yeah. yeah? But then what shook us is that when you look at the country, Nigeria is 33%, UK is what? 56%. But do you know what got us? If we didn't even, because our, most of our customers are what? UK people. UK. So if the little Nigerians that were in that group committed to it, how many Nigerians are in UK? 1.1 million. How many Nigerians are in Nigeria? <laughs> 200 million. But that number eh, is, 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 is called, even chase is fantastic, we're going to poverty. You can't hold on to 200 million. You have to hold on to the people who go with 100k per month. Because 100k per month is what? 1.2 million. Those people are not even your target market. You understand? Yeah. So you have to target, you don't have to go and look for another target market who go with what? At least 300 k to 400 k per month. Now if you now look at that number, in Nigeria, they probably don't pass more than 5, 10 million. That would make sense. So our target audience is actually 10, 5 to 10 million people. But that 5 to 10 million people is still more than the 1.1 million. So where is the potential market for us? the power of data now. Yeah. Can you see data now? Yeah. So it's not just about visualizing the data, it's about interpreting the data. And then the more you see, one of the things, one of the beautiful things about artificial intelligence or machine learning is that the more data you give it, the more intelligent it is. You see, the, um, AI and artificial intelligence can never be overweight. You know how you can eat, eat, eat and get fat? Do you get my point? I, for example, if you see my belly now, it's getting big. Yeah, everything about me is getting big. So I had to reduce what I'm eating. Every time I come to Nigeria, I just put on with bam, just like that. It's the palm egg yam, it's the um, um, amalam, it's all the eporiro and all that stuff. Do you get my point? And the thing is delicious. <laughs> I can't help but eat it. But knowing that basically, just like I can gather data, just like um, AI can take data and not use it, I can't afford to do that, right? But the beautiful thing about AI, the beautiful thing about machine learning is that the more data you give them, the smarter they get. Yeah. So we need more, the more data we get, the more informed we become, right? But we also look at the age group, look at that age group. Really and truly, 31 to 35, 36 to 40, 41 to 40, that's really the age, isn't it? Yeah. That's really that age. And we can't understand what's going on. And we now have to understand the psychographic, psychographic. Yeah? We don't know it. We don't understand the psychographic. Why do we need to understand the psychographic? The way they are thinking. The way they are thinking. What does a 31 to 35-year-old think? Why is he so interested? Do you see? Yeah? Why is, uh, we are 56 to 60, but they are nowhere as much as a 31 to... Yeah? Why? Because you're 56 to 60. They are two, thinking about two things, aren't they? <laughs> There's a set that's thinking, I'm going to die soon. Do <laughs> you get? And there's a set that's probably already, do you get, already invested enough, also, the set that just don't have the money. I hope it makes sense. So, you have to now start understanding, not just the demographics is important, yeah? But you have to understand the psychographic. And then you need to understand the behavior. How this user behaves on your platform. Are you following me? Yes. Three very important things. When it comes to data, demographic, psychographic, behavioral. 
Are you following me? That is important. Now, once you have that, we now looked over here and thought to ourselves, okay, we now have data, right? So, how many people does it take to buy one? Let's go back, stay on the screen. With that data, we now make an informed decision in terms of our strategy. Are you with me? Yeah. So with that data, we now make an informed decision as a result of our strategy. And what is that informed decision? Let's see if this thing comes up. I don't know why it's taking so long. 986, 986. Let's make an informed decision. You ready to make an informed decision? Yeah. If, if 70% of people will invest what? 2.3 and 20% will invest more than that. Yeah. That means that I'm so that means that and basically they will finish the building in three years. If you allow the average Joe to split 2.3 million over three years, is that affordable for Joe? It is. For somebody who's on 300 k a month, isn't it? Yes. It's very affordable. Yes. But you see, that guy who's on 300 k a month, what is he already thinking about in his head or her head? Property. You're thinking about your future. You're thinking about making more money. So that is the mindset that these people have. I hope it makes sense. Psychographic profile. So now, in that mindset, we've already talked about the potential of the analytics. You know that if I am 31, remember, if I am 31, yeah? If, you are, if I am 31, if I am 32, if I am 35, I'm thinking I can wait 10 years before yeah. that. Yeah. I'm thinking I can wait 20 years. Because what I don't want to do is find that 20 years later that this place is the bomb, but I don't have a stake in it. Right. Are you following? Yeah. So the mindset is very, very different. And they're happy to chill for three years. So that means that you need, if one apartment is 230 million, the data tells us that you need 100 people to own one apartment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, you tell consumer on your knowledge of that customer, and you say to consumer, yeah, guess what? You can own, let's go back to it, let's just close this down, okay? You say to this consumer, guess what? Okay, you can own, yeah? You can own an apartment here along with 100 people and it's your apartment. The company will be set up in all of these name and shareholders and the company will be used to buy the apartment. Which means that anytime you want to sell the apartment, you just sell the company. Now, already from the information that we're getting, insight, consumer insights, we already know that all the top banks are going to have their what headquarters mm -hmm. there. We already know that Facebook, uh, Google, and all those guys are going to have their headquarters there. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. So where are they going to put their uh, their staff? Are they not going to be coming to look for properties that are there? Mm -hmm. Have it makes sense? So it makes perfect sense to just buy it. We already know that rental value is 130k, 140k per night. Stupid money. <laughs> this is why I'm my point. I don't understand why somebody will pay 130k, 140k per night. Of course I am. But I will be happy to charge you. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what? Since you know you can stay there, at least let your money be coming from them. So if you now take the 130k per night, 140 multiply by 12, um, 3, 235 days, 70% of one That is 37 million. Your money, how much did you spend? 230 million. Yeah? 37 million means that you're getting over 10%. So let's just say flat rate, you get 10% of that 230 million, 2.3 million every year. In 10 years, the money you put in is back. But guess what? That more time in that property, the 2.3 million you put in might be 4.6, might be 7.6. Do you get my point? Yeah. 
So you are not only make your money back, you now have more money. Mm-hmm. It's a no-brainer. And then you now tell them, hey, guess what? Because it's your property, all of you own it. There's a concierge downstairs. Anytime you go, you know, just walk into the property, go to the concierge, give them your name and your ID. If it's empty, you don't sleep in your house. <laughs> it's your house. All of a sudden, everybody's thinking what? Wow. What have you done? You have just met the needs of the consumers based on psychographic profiling. Because we found out from the data that 90% of the people surveyed wish they could live in a quadrant city. But 90% of them also felt that they couldn't afford it. All of a sudden, you've given them a solution to their problem. You get my point? But then also, what do you give them? The bragging right. Because I think about 60% of them said that they think it's only for the super rich. So now, once again, can you see the power of data? So now, you're able to tell Peter that, hey, by the way, that building is built. You're going to tell, I want an apartment there. <laughs> Who gives a damn whether it's 100 of us that own it? <laughs> Does it make sense? Because I'll tell you something that shocks me. Um, we built um, the, um, uh, we start, when we first started Digital London, we bought uh, three apartments in Osaka, London. Uh, we do short rent on it. The guests that we have, if you see the kind of things that I hear that they do, it's unbelievable. People who travel, book the place. Yeah, there was a guy that was getting married. <laughs> there was a guy that was getting married. Uh, he called his, um, um, he booked the place, and then he now took his um, parents, it's like his wife's parents to the place and said, oh, this is my house and everything. He was so impressed with everything. Like, oh, whatever. You know, he couldn't be able to take them to where he lives in uh, Oshodi or whatever it, it is. He, he wanted to, what do you call it? So he took them there. They were so impressed. They were happy and everything. They said, ah, oh, you know, um, uh, okay, whatever you're doing very well. I said, ah, yes, everything is okay. You know? And me, I'm happy with that as long as he pays his daily rate. <laughs> yeah, but I'm very happy with that. But you, be, you, you start to realize that for a second, Everybody wants an opportunity to be able to at least have a good life. So all of that data, we've collected it. And the more we're collecting that data, the more informed we are, the more it is now defining our marketing strategy. It's defining our sales strategy. And it's defining the product we are going to sell. Now, one of the things we also got from the data, are you following now? One of the things we also got from the data, which was really, really interesting, was that some people said, look, I'm, I, I, I'm okay with buying with 100 people, but what if I have 10 of my friends and we want to put more? Are you following me? Because some of us may have 10, 10 million or maybe 50, 50 million each and we just want to buy four of us and we just enjoy our flat. So hold a second, that means we now need to recreate. You see, these are problems. Yeah. And the problems, we are looking for digital what? Solutions. Are you following what's going on here? So we now realize that, okay, we already created a solution. Go back to screen. We already created a solution for the what? We've already created a solution for crowdfunding where 100 people can come together and they own things. But what about the people, yeah? What about the people that don't want to join 100 Club but want to create their own 100 Club? Which now means that as a user, I want to go on the platform. I remember using user stories now. So as a user, I want to go on the platform and I want to either join existing 100 Club or create my own 100 Club. So when I create, as a user, when I create my own 100 Club, I want to... Um, 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 no, I want to this, uh, uh, show me the price and then tell me how many people want to buy it. If there are 10 of us, break the amount down for 10 of us. And then send an invitation to the people that you want to invite. And when 10 of you join and it is activated, then you will, the, uh, that, that property will lock to you and you'll be able to go and do the virtual uh, viewing and select your property. All from the convenience of being online. All digital products. Enhancing the experience, features and functions, enhancing the experience of the customer using the actual physical product. This saves you having to go to the showroom. Because most people are all over the world, country, even in Lagos, to get to showroom is what? Well, 
because of traffic. But if I can do it all online, if I can do it all from the convenience of my mobile phone, yeah, you can come back to me now. If you can do it all from the convenience of my mobile phone, I can go on there, I can join existing hundred club, or I can create my own. Con um, they would like to see. They, they give a point. Um, then I can create my own hundred club. I hope it makes sense. Yeah. Now, as a result of creating my own hundred club, I can invite my friends, and then all of us can agree how much we want to spend. But if we don't reach the number, we can open it up for other people to join. These are new features that we have to build into it. And to open it up for other people to join, I wouldn't just want anybody to join. I want to set a criteria so that based on the same feather what flock together. So there might be a set of questionnaires that we will put in there. Once again, set of features and functions that we are building to enhance the customer experience of using the product. Now, it doesn't just end there. Are you following me? It doesn't just end there. Once we have all decided, how do we all pay for the product? Now that we want to pay for the product, there must be a payment gateway. If I'm based in UK, this is how I pay. If I'm based in Nigeria, this is how I pay. All of these functionalities, all of these features. But you know why we need to build this from a point of view of the user? You know why we need to build this from the point of view of the user? Because who's going to use it? They're the ones that are going to use it. And this is why we build using user stories. Story of how the user will use the system. So let's go back on the screen. Yes, please, Kofi. Does the intervention take away the value of the physical location? Mm, no, it doesn't. It doesn't in any way. But there should be, I think, um, I don't know, at, at what point did the fiscal uh, location have the price? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Physical location is still there. Yeah. Physical location is still there. Uh, and sorry. it's key, right? Yeah, sorry? And it's key. Yeah. The physical, listen, the, the physical, listen, we're still going to have a showroom. You that want to go to showroom, go and see the showroom. But just like the banks still have their branch. Does it make sense? But if for you, for convenience, for the cons for the user, I hope it makes sense, they're talking there. For the user, yeah, you need to what? Create, for the digital savvy consumer, you need to create a what? A digital experience. I, I hope you're with me. Yeah? So now, all of a sudden, what was I saying? I was trying to write something here. No, what, that's not right. Okay. User story. Uh, yeah, user story. So we need to now create user stories, isn't it? So the story of how the user will use the system. So as a role, I want activity so that I can result, right? As a prospective investor. I want to learn about, as a prospective investor, I want to learn about sit-outs. As a prospective investor, I want to view the virtual tour. It's not experience. As a prospective investor, I want to join an existing 100 club. As a prospective investor, I want to create my own 100 club. By creating the stories of how the user will use the system from the point of view of the user, you end up building a customer-centric, remember, data-driven, digital products that customers actually want to use. Do you get that? Yeah. This is why the role digital product manager, digital product... They're still saying the country. Where are they saying they can't see? There's chat messages. Yeah, here's the thing. The it's saying live, right? Yes. Okay, if it's saying live and we are seeing it is live, then it's not it's not let them refresh. Refresh your your browser. Do a total refresh and come back. Okay, so like, listen, somebody said they insisted on physical training. Are we not having a physical training here? <laughs> so why is somebody complaining that there is a physical training? This is the physical training. You're supposed to be here. There's nothing we're doing to prevent you from seeing the screen. Everything is working. The true matter is that there's nobody issues over there. It's not it's not our problem. There's right. nothing to I do mean, here. We, we, this we can do is literally yeah, go to YouTube and see. And then try and mute it because it doesn't do affect us. Now, so you have to create the what? User what? Story. Story. 
Now, the it's, huh? The creative products. The creative products, yeah. Because the story about the user is going to use this system. And now, can we agree right now that to build this platform is a big, is a big, big deal? Yeah. Yes. Is, 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 yeah? Now, once upon a time, we will go through the waterfall approach. Okay, we are Okay. Yeah? Where we will analyze, we will design, we will develop, we will test, we will deploy. Yeah? Is that correct? Analyze, design, test, analyze, design, develop, test, deploy, right? And then we we'll maintain. Now, this analysis can take, because we're building the entire thing from the whole C Towers product. Yeah? We're building the whole C Towers product. So, as a result of that, this can take, analysis can take eight months. Design can take even six months. It's a big product. Development can take nine months. Testing can take three to six months. And then deployment, the hour has no while, can take two to three months. You now launch things. Now, how many is that? This one was what? Analysis is three months. So that is about nine plus 18 plus, let's even make it six, 24. Yeah, plus uh, three months. Yeah, 27. 27. 27 months. How many years is that? 24, 2, 2.7, 2, 2 years, 2 years and what? 7 months. Our YouTube channel. 2 years and what? 7 months. In 2 years and 7 months, what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to launch the Towers product. In 2 years and 7 months, what's going to happen? This is what? What are these people are doing? Yeah? But this is called the Waterfall Approach, right? He's just checking. Sorry. Yeah, he's yeah, alive. So he's working. That's why I said don't worry about them. It's not our fault. Yeah? Uh, when I'm mm -hmm. talking, face me. Yeah. When I'm showing stuff on the screen, face this mm -hmm. screen. Okay, my point. When they are talking, face them. Yeah. What's the You get okay, my point. Yeah? Okay, now. So, guys, let's think about it. This waterfall approach, is it practical? Hmm? When, do we, when do we want to start collecting money from people? Now. As soon as possible. October. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Do you think I'm going to launch a product, this product, in you know, how long is it going to take me? Two years, right? Yeah. Two years to launch this physical product. I don't have the resources for it to do it. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. So that means, uh, and I also don't have the time. So that means that it's better for me to do it in what? In bits and bobs. To find out the minimum viable product. I hope it makes sense. Yeah? yeah? Quantity? Huh? In terms of quantity. No, no, in terms of quantity. Let me explain to you this first. Let me give you an example. So you see now I'm, I'm, I'm 42 years old now, yeah? So now that I'm 42 years old, and I'm beginning to see all this gray hair coming up, and then on this part, I think this bit uh, lost my hair on the middle here, yeah? So I can't be going for like 25, 26 year old girls anymore because I'm still so appreciative of time. So, like, my idea of what my ideal woman is is changing dramatically. Now I'm looking for a woman that has the fear of God. Before, before, I didn't have any problem with you, but it has to be beautiful, have all the shape and everything. But now, my acceptance criteria is, um, uh, is negotiable. Do you understand? I call it expectation, I say all of those things are extremely negotiable now. Why? Because, you know, I want to say, so, so, as a result of that, I have to ask myself, what is the minimum viable product now? Do you get my point? Because at the end of the day, at my age, if I go and marry one 21, 22 year old girl, and then all of a sudden, and you know, at 42, your level of performance is not on the same level as in 24, 22 age, you can't, you just go and visit somebody else outside. So I have to look for somebody that is roughly around my level as well. You get what that matters to me, trust. What matters to me is support. I hope it makes sense. So all those things I used to do for are no longer important. I'm focused on my minimum viable product. The most important feature that I need for me to be started. Did you get that? Yes. You sure? Mm -hmm. So, instead of us going through the waterfall approach, I don't have time. Some like me, I don't have time to analyze, design, develop, test, and deploy. Do you get my point? Yeah. I just need to, and, and two years later, I'll be 40 what? 44. 44. 
And that uh-huh. place is getting worse, isn't it? So, <laughs> it's true. So, 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 so as a result of that, the waterfall approach can't work for me. Do you agree? Yeah. I have to use a different approach. I have to use an approach where I just focus on the most important thing I need at that point in time. Yeah, I just we focus can on that. the product's performance. Huh? You can improve the product's performance. With what? <laughs> okay. Alright. So, yeah, let's, let's continue. So, you're, you're, you're beginning to get the idea that it doesn't make sense. To use the waterfall approach, okay. especially in an age where technology is constantly what? Changing. Yeah, look, so technology is changing. changing. Yes, go. Okay. We've There's tested it. We about it. Yeah? It's that. working. They We've tested it. They to be here. They are not here. We can't do anything about that. Let's focus they on the watch the recorded. Yeah? Now. Um, it's working. Sorry, I got distracted there. Sorry. Yeah, we don't want to use the waterfall. Yeah. yeah, we want to use what? Agile. Okay, some of you have been hearing that for the first time, but we're going to get, that, get to that very soon. Very close. We want to use a more agile approach. We want to use an approach that gives us flexibility. We want to use an approach that helps us to focus on the most important thing that we need right now without actually launching the whole thing. We want to focus on an ability to be able to respond to feedback and respond to changes. Because we're living in an age where what is relevant today is no longer relevant tomorrow. So as a result of that, it doesn't make sense for us to go and spend two, God knows how much money, how much time, two years later to launch a product that nobody wants to use. And by the way, by the time we are gone, the property, the, 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 the interest is gone. Do you get my point? So right now, it's better for us to find out what is the immediate business need. What is the mid-term business? In fact, there's no, there's no, we, don't, we no longer have, before with waterfall approach, we had immediate business need, 2.5 years we launched it. Mid-term business need, another waterfall approach. Long-term business need, another waterfall approach. Now we don't have a game midterm and what? Long term. Do you know what we have? Every single four weeks, we have the next immediate business need, the next minimum viable product. So, what we do is that we come up with stories, user stories, stories of how the user will use the system. Let us sit down and just come up with the follow-up story. And this story will be based on the business strategy. You see, the business yeah, and the customer must marry. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah? The business and the customer must marry. The business needs must marry the customer's needs. So for example, we know that we need to sell the first apartment by the end of October, right? Now, we also know that we need to get a virtual tour done. People need to see that the documents are real. People need to be able to go there and see a virtual tour. People need to go and register. And people need to go and make their payments. That is all that they need to do right now, right? So, the minimum viable product is what? Give the customer what they want, so the customer can give us what we want. We want them, the customer wants to know, is this thing real? And the customer is ready to pay. Do we need to worry about creating the first 100 group buying platform now? No, because we already have our first 100. Are you following me? So, the minimum viable product when we look at also in this user story, as a user, I want to register. As a user, I want to fill out questionnaire. Because you need the questionnaire to help understand the kind of person you are. As a user, I want to learn about C Towers. As a user, I want to view the C Towers virtual tour. As a user, I want to view the vehicle documentation. As a user, I want to um, pay. I want to pay for my uh, pay, pay for my. I want to buy my share of the what do you call it? 
Yeah? As a user, I want to get confirmation. As a user, I want to get my contract yeah. that I own this. this That's all we need to do right now. That is the minimum viable product. Yes. But does that mean we have ended? No. 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 When we now release, when we release, so what we are now doing, if you go back to the screen, what we are now doing is we are taking all these user stories, yeah? We're taking the most important user story and we're prioritizing it. We're identifying what is the minimum viable product. And from that minimum viable product, we now go through the analyze, design, develop, test, deploy for just that minimum viable product. And then we release it to the who? The customers. And then from listening to the customers, we get feedback from them. And the feedback from them will help us define and prioritize the next what? Phase. Yeah, the next minimum viable product, which we will now what? Analyze, design, develop, test, and deploy, and then ship it. But then remember, we ship the first one as well, right? So we now have two lovely words. Products oh. incrementally. So if you think about it, and then we get feedback from who? Customer. And the feedback from that customer will help us define the next minimum viable Are you following now? Yes. And that next minimum viable product is what we want analyze, design, develop, test, and deploy. Which we now have. So you can see that the product is increasing incrementally. And then we're getting feedback from the world. Customers and that will help us define the next and we keep going as long as there is value in the product because the product does not have a start and end date. Yes. yes. Okay, for this um, this process now for Agile, it would is should it be on one product that we modify or improve or would it be bits of products that we releasing? You should think about it. Think about what we just said. This Citawas platform we're building. Are we building any other platform no. apart from Cita? No. What are we doing? We're building it in bits and blocks. Yes. Yeah, you've answered that question yourself now. You see that? We're building it what? Small by small. I hope it makes sense. Yeah? It's small by small. Incrementally. You, you get my point? Do you know that? Nigerians are the most agile people in this world. We don't have to have a finished product to start using it. <laughs> we will build it small by small. That's why I always thought that agile will fit very well in Nigeria. It's already in our nature. I hope it makes sense. Is in Nigeria, the house is not finished. They are moving to it. Small by small. I hope you're with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's all about, we already know what the vision is. We already know what it will look like. I bet let me enter my house. It will be parent to this person. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget my neighbor that did that. For at least uh, the first one year was the most horrendous experience. We used to live in Jewish Garden. The guy moved into his house. He hadn't done his suck away thing. So whenever he did his doo-doo, <laughs> it was just horrible. Do you know what I mean? He also just, just push it to where the place was. Uh, that's when they call it like, listen, just dig a hole. Do you know what I mean? And pull the stuff there. You know? And that was very, very arrogant and very proud because he had built his own house. He said, like, you can't tell me what to do in your house. So we can't help you. You get my point. But whatever the case, the lesson I learned from that guy was that he already has a vision of what his house will be. Until my toilet is sorted, leave me at my house. I'm focusing on the minimum viable product. What's the minimum viable product? I can sleep. Did you get my point? It's my house. I can shoot wherever I want. <laughs> when the time comes, I will get my toilet done. I hope it makes sense. So it's the same thing. The Agile methodology, and that's what it is. The Agile methodology is building the minimum viable product, focusing on the most important features that you need based on the customer needs. 
and delivering incrementally. So you're building bits in bits and bobs and delivering incrementally. You're going through a repetitive because are we are we repeating this development process? Remember, remember that over here is all in what? Two and a half years. Yeah. But with the other development process is what? Focusing on the most important thing we need to do and then go through that development process. You're still going through the waterfall approach. You're not doing it in what? Bits and bots. And delivering what? Incrementally. Which gives room for what? Feedback. Because every time you release something, you can get feedback on what you released, isn't it? So what that means is that you end up building a product that the customer actually wants to use because the customer has been part of that product from what? Is that making sense? So we will now use so in reality, if you're living in the digital age and you're working for a company that's building a digital product, 1,000%, the methodology they're going to be using is what? Are you following me? Yeah. And that's why you have scrum masters. That's why you have product owners. That's why you have product managers. Are you with me? But everything is driven by what? Data. Because before we even got to this point, it was data that informed our what? Decision making. I hope it makes sense. So, in what I have now showed you, it is pretty clear and simple. When you go on the platform, they are working on a number of what? They are working on a number of products. So, for example, they are working on the e-work XP product, which has many what? Products. Has many sub products. Are you following now? Yes. Yeah, many sub products. For example, AI, they got child. We are working on that product, aren't we? There are so many products we're working on. And guess what? Once we have launched the first features of that sub product, does it mean it's ended? No, because we are continually, because at that point we focus on the what? Minimum viable products, which means that we can keep improving it. And that's the beautiful thing about the digital space, about being a digital product manager. You're not in a contract for three months, my friend, but as long as that product exists, you're good. Is that, is that fair? Yeah. yeah, which is really, really cool. Yeah. So if you can see, see towers as a product, when we launch the first set of deliverables, all we are doing is launching just one small bit of the whole thing. But does that mean that we can't start looking? We can't. We can't start making money. No, we can start making money. What? Straight. Away. The beautiful thing about minimum viable product is it helps us. It defines what success is for us now. I hope you're with me. Yeah? It defines what success is for us now. And you know what is now shocking a lot of businesses? A lot of people are now able to set up a business without needing investment. Anybody guess why? Because you can start small. Thank you. Thank you. It's like now you're using the right hand way. So we can now ask ourselves, how do we scale? And scalability is based on the minimum viable product at that point in time. So now, can you see how this lot is now disrupting the real estate industry? Can you see how a lot of businesses are going to get Ubered? Now I'm the one that oh. is ah. 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 Right, tell me, educate me. Educate me, what's Ope? Ope is taking over with you. It's by Oprah. I go using the Ope. Oh, wait, are you using the Ope for Kada? Is this it? No, Ope. Ope, I'm taking over. I think I'm not. Please say, say, say. Are they, are they, but they are Okada? Yeah, yeah they are Okada. Yeah. Okada is one of the products. They are just one, they don't have all pay, one, one of the products. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh
believe in. So, 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 so disruption. Yes. So, yeah, so, so you know what? Let's just say for Oyibo people who bad. For us, let's go to Oyibo. Yeah? Okay, so now. Hello, hello guys. Pay attention, pay attention, please. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thank you, thank you. So now. Why is what's interesting now? It's just a channel, isn't it? It's a big one. Where am I? This one? No, it's a black charger. Yeah, so 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 now let's let's have a look at this. Um this show. Okay. Now so look at that. Yeah. All of a sudden. I want you to just take your time and check what's going on here. All of a sudden, Peter can go and buy with what? With two point three million. All of a sudden, one hundred people have bought. One hundred people have bought what? One. But because there is a platform that allows people to group buy, this will go in what? We'll go fast. All of a sudden, you have disrupted the real estate industry because normally people that build this kind of thing go and look for one person to pay. Do you get my point? And they don't have the funding. So they stop halfway. All of a sudden, you created a platform that brings the money in consistently. But then we now go further and launch blockchain. And create a digital currency. So, what do I mean by that? So, let us come here. I think it's here. I think it's here. Let us come here and let us start from. Sorry, I'm hoping it's here. Anyway. Ah. Sorry, guys, one second. This is. Okay, it's not here. It will be here. Okay, so we now come here and we now start with this. Hopefully, hopefully it's here. Ah. So, we started with landlords. We actually built the first group buying app. And people went and group bought. And together we bought, we found out that, ah, Shogote do, Dangote refinery is going to be worth a fortune, right? So, together, we got 200 and something people, mm -hmm. put down uh, 200 one and ninety million and we got an acre of land in Shabotero for us to build 36 flats in the future. You see that? We now created a digital currency. This is the beautiful thing about digital technology. We took the value of that land and we created 1,000 annex coins and we divided the value of the land by 1,000 annex coins which equated to one annex coin. Does that make sense? We have created a currency, and that currency was secure for what? Real estate. Real estate doesn't. Real estate. Are you following where I'm coming from? Now, we now realize that all of a sudden, this is what digital technology can do. It can disrupt an industry. We now realize we now acquire three townhouses. When we bought this, it was what? Four, what? One annex coin was four, three. Four, oh, no, 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 yeah? So now, we're not saying that, you know what? Why don't we use an coin to buy apartments in what? Sea towers. Because if we do that, the value is going to what? Increase. Huh? The value is going to what? Go up. I hope it makes sense. Yeah. And then, we now open this. And it's going up to the pizza who can't afford two for three million but wants to buy an coin. Why? Because an coin is not just C powers. An coin is also the eight of land in the shop of And an coin is also the three dead houses in the Savannah. An coin is any property. 
property that we buy in the future. So we now realize that, okay, that means that when we build the two bed apartments within, uh, in the current city, do the three apartments and do the uh, townhouses in uh, the uh, 36 apartments of Lugato, the annex will be 2,100. Mm -hmm. So now we can start selling annex I don't know if you get that. Mm -hmm. Because you know that if you buy annex coin now, your annex coin is going to be worth in four years later. And how much can you buy annex coin? Any amount you have. 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira. Buy whatever you want. Now, who have you paid that to? You cater to both low income earners and also the high income But he's also giving low income earners something to value. What have you given to value? I don't just own the property city, I own all other portfolios. And any other future portfolio that grows in it, and because we already have a history of growing at this coin, the trust is already there. Which means that the next product feature, I, I, you get me? The next product feature will be the ability for people to go and buy Annex coins. And then I should be able to see the growth, the chart of Annex coin from when it first started to where it is. And then I should be able to have a scroll bar that as I move that scroll bar, so for example, for the first time, yeah, so there will be a scroll bar, you can move the scroll bar, that like, it's like this. So the first scroll bar will move the shovel tendo. Second scroll bar, um, what do you call it? Osapa, uh, and it will be like this. And then third scroll bar, so you can't move it back because we've already got it. But you can only move it from Osapa. Okay. Then you can move it to Sea Towers, okay. and you will see what your money will be. And you can move it to when we build the 36 flats. And then we can always keep moving it. So you can have a visual perspective of what your money will be. And by the way, this is how much it is now. And how much are these coins you want to buy any amount. Now you build a trading card. We need to do that now. Huh? Is that a minimum value product now? No, it's not. It kind of is, if you think about it, but at the same time, it kind of, it kind of isn't. But that's where you will sit down as a product owner and determine what works and what doesn't work. What is the cost of money? Because the cost of money must marry the business. Yes. If we find out that people want that instead, that will now trump over that one. How would it make sense? And that's how you prioritize your product backlog. Your backlog of all the set of features you need to build. That backlog is based on whose needs customers and who and the both of them was what is this all making sense are you sure yes are you kind of understanding what product management is all about yeah. why you have a product backlog why you have user stories why you're prioritizing user story why it must be driven by data you see how it's going together and you're understanding why your understanding of digital technology is very important because you can't build what you don't understand, and you can't analyze what you don't understand. Yes? Please, I have a question. Okay, so I'm trying to make sense of the business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically my question would be, why, what informed, what data informed the pulling or putting together of, um, to this, to an annex coin? What informed it? Oh, that's such a long time ago, isn't it? <laughs> okay, do you have that data? Is there a data? No, we have data. data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we show you it. it. Everything is driven by what? Data. 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 Remember what I said? In God we trust, everybody else must bring data. data. And I love how you're asking that question. Uh, don't just open your mouth and say, what informed what it is that you are saying? Can you see how your mindset is changing now? Yeah? Now you will go to work. They start to swear for you because all of a sudden, you are taking someone else's job that can't think the way you are thinking. You get my point? Yeah? I will never forget the day I was working at, um, uh, when I first came to Nigeria, and uh, I got my contract with a uh, major bank. And um, I, I didn't know in the beginning that when you just come and you just enter somewhere, you are stealing someone else's bread and butter. And there are some things that are already arranged, 
you know. So I came in, you know, with my suit and tie, speaking a big fat grammar English, you know, and I entering the place and saying that, hey, you know what, this is what you're gonna do for you, I'm gonna do this for you, don't do that for you and everything. And I'm sitting down there and then this other unit, so they told me, oh, you have to help them, make them work and everything. I'm like, okay, no problem. Next thing I know, I realized that I should have had a meeting with them first. And said to them, ah, okay, I'll come, you know. I don't know, sort this thing out. You know, I don't understand the culture yet. Do you get my point? <laughs> I, I learned, I know now. Yeah, I, to start, I didn't know how it was. So there was already a war. Oh, how it makes sense? There was already a kabam. <laughs> 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 you, you get that? So, 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 so what happened was I now had to rely on the data to prove my work because there was already a fight to say, because I'm here to steal their bread and butter. Do you understand? Yeah. And they have kids to feed. They have a business to build. Who the heck do I think I am? Oh, I hope you're following me. And I'm thinking, I'm not gonna let you take this away from me. But and it didn't I don't think I think it didn't play well eventually. But you know what? The only thing I can say me was data. Because I was able to show the data. And say this is the evidence of my work. If I didn't have the data, I was over. But I also learned something. I learned that I did not have the the, the market understanding of how Nigeria works. And if I partnered with that company, it would have been yeah, it would have been a lot more successful. So. Yeah, I may have gotten away with using data to save my contract, but I could have made a lot more, I could have made a lot more, and we could have ended up becoming a big, massive company. That's the lesson I learned. Hey, I hope you're following me. Yes. Yeah? Tick. Even your enemy is your friend. <laughs> Just don't Stay see cool. them as an enemy. Stay cool. You get my point? Don't see them as an enemy. You'll be, you'll be surprised what about the day can bring to your business. Yeah? So, but well, let's get back here. So, we looked at the data. Is this, was this it? No. No, this was kind no, of this was kind of this. You have to go with bit back. This one? No, nope, still. Is this that's one? still the work. All the way this back. This is. Ah. See, we, we, we go back right here. We, data is our, our bread and butter. No, this is still the work. Go back. Well, this go, is it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with these shorted homes. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, with these shorted homes, we had 402 subscribers. Payment preference. What was the green one? See, see, our, see, our, see, the, see our data is confusing now. Uh, once again, okay, those who wanted to pay monthly, yeah, people who wanted to pay monthly, people wanted to pay monthly, people who wanted to pay monthly, yeah. Prospective investor versus investors. We have prospective 66 and investor 34 percent. These are people that wanted an so 34 percent already owned an X coin, and then 66 percent now wanted an X coin. You see, and then these 66 percent are the ones that subscribe. But these are basically these are the subscribers. They are all yeah. paid. So yeah. all the people that bought an X coin, 34 percent already had, and 66 percent wanted more. What were new people? And everybody preferred the whole apartment. That's why we don't do single room in our apartments. We do when you want to rent an apartment, it's in the whole house. Why? Because 84% said they want the whole apartment. Are you following? Yes. Everything we're doing is driven by data. Yes. Card payments. Uh, we look less people can pay by card in Nigeria, which was good. Yeah, and we looked at the subscription rate and subscription for everything. And that was what we were doing. Huh? Yeah, it's right here. Nigeria, UK. So Nigeria was 25%, UK was 74%. That's when we realized that we were sitting on money, we are sitting on the gold mine. I will never forget the day my friends, my friends told me, I said, Gage, you're mad. Why don't you buy properties in Nigeria? They depreciate. It doesn't make any sense. You should buy properties in the UK. At least there's stability. I said, let me tell you something. You see, the error is when there is stability, there is no double portion, there is no triple portion of 
<laughs> Do you understand? But it's because it's a developing nation. If you build a really nice house in a particular street and everyone else moves to that area and builds nice houses in that street, street. that land yeah. that was worth nothing mm -hmm. is worth a fortune. Yeah. How it makes sense? Yeah. So that's how Nigeria is. It's a developing nation. So it makes perfect sense and that's why I did it. Is it risky? Yes. Mm -hmm. But tell me whoever did anything was something. That did not take risk. My my friends, my love God is that you're going to die. Already. <coughs> what you're afraid of is going to hit you. It's just that you just don't know when it's going to hit you. For example, I can step out right now and the car will hit me and I'm gone. That's the reality of life. I can go to a restaurant, yeah, eat something, and then die of food poisoning. Uh, it's, it's reality of life. Yeah. Anything I could get on the plane back to the UK, plane crash. Yeah? I can give I can be driving at night after I've finished nightclub. And not like come by the eye I can I I can't joke, it doesn't mean this serious. <laughs> you actually know that I, I actually preach in churches as well. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I could just get in my car late at night, and then police stops me, and I give him maybe 2,000 naira, and he starts shooting his gun, and he missed. You got know, it's these are things that happen. Yeah, yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to die. Do you understand? I, like, I've come to realization it's going to happen. So do you know? So because of that, I live every single day like in my last, and that's why I take the risk. What's the worst that can happen? Do you understand? Worst case scenario, I lose everything. We well, might not be the first. Now it makes sense. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's life, man. And I also know that worst case scenario, I have a gift. I have a gift of the gap. There are other careers, especially in Nigeria, with your mouth, that will make you money. So, I'm not worried. There are just many things you can do that will sort you out. So just live your life and enjoy it. Just have a gift that's doing something. You, you get my point? Yeah? So, as a result of that, take the risk. Do what you have to do. What's the worst that can happen? Nothing is happening now, anyway. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. That's how I always see it. What's the worst that can happen? Nothing is happening now. So, go and do it. All right, what was I talking about? What was I saying? And what about this? Oh, uh, you have yeah, answered that question, right? Yeah. So, that's it. That's solid now, right? So, we have the data. So, everything we do, there is nothing we do without having the data to back it up. Now, do you now understand why every single one of you have to build your data analytics skills? Do you now understand why you have to build your business intelligence skills? And I hope you now understand when we say, please do this, not because we're being mean, it's because we're trying to create a future for you. Because without data, everything you're learning is useless. Question? Okay. Is that making sense? So you need to learn how to use Excel. I'll, I'll come to you. You need to learn how to use Excel. You need to learn how to use Tableau. You need to learn how to use Power BI. You need to learn how to bring all the tools together using Google Data Studio. And there are too many tools out there. You need to understand, you need to understand web analytics tools. You need to understand social media tools. You need to understand social media beyond what you know of social media. Social media analytics. I hope you're with me. Yes. Because the future we are moving into, what you used to use to make decisions, is useless. 
I hope you understand my point. Yeah? I'll never forget the day some guy called me up, said he wants me to invest in one of his businesses or put me through to some people. I said, okay, in, give me an elevator pitch. He said, elevator pitch. Tell me exactly what it is that your product is, yeah, and tell me what your new selling point is, what your competitive advantage is, and exactly how it works. So I, I can send you a business plan. You want to read a business plan? How many pages your business plan? Ah, sorry, it's 150 pages. Oh so I'm going to spend my time reading 150 pages of useless information. Why is it useless information? Because by the time you finish writing that 150 pages, whatever you wrote is useless information. Absolutely. I'd rather you show me the data than show me your business plan. I'd rather you show me a working product, even if it's just 1% of the working product, than show me a business plan. And that's why the other manifesto says that we want working products over constant or other documentation. That would make sense. Yeah. Because a working product is evidence of the documentation. <laughs> you, you get that? Yeah. If you ask us to go and bring the document for e-work experience platform, <laughs> I, I don't know what this starts. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. If you ask me to build the document for how we do short methods, I don't know where it is. I have no documentation. All I have is the evidence of the data and the money we have made from it. While many businesses have a lot of documentation on the working product, or a working product that doesn't work. Yes? So if you can make how about for We use growth hacking, that's why you have data, that's why you have analytics tools. That's why you have analytics tools. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Yeah? Because the problem is that when you now start to remove the natural, yeah, you are confused. Because you think that well, we should have documentation to follow up. But really and truly, we've been building in data clubs. And as we are building in data clubs, we are incrementally improving that product through customer feedback. And the customer feedback is from the data that we are getting from their usage. And that's why we track activity on the application. We're getting to that. Today is just for you understanding this market that we are in. How do you make sense? Yeah. So now, do you now understand now when we say calling to the project? Or calling to the product? Calling to meetings? Why? Because if you don't call into the meetings, can't understand what's going on. At least know the products we are working on. Now, based on what they are talking about, then you go on the e-work experience platform and go and learn about it. Don't listen to the videos like you are in a, like you're, you're going to training. It's not a training platform. Listen to the videos based on what you have just discovered that you want to learn about. So let's talk about a few things I've talked about today. I've talked about what? Agile. I've talked about waterfall. So when you go to the videos, what are you going to do and focus on this thing? And you will find that everything I'm teaching you will now make sense. How many of you have actually listened to those videos? I've started. You started. Yeah, started. How, is it? How is it? It's making sense yeah. now, isn't it? It's all like, okay, this is now coming together. Yeah? It's in your doing. Because if you're not doing the work, I guarantee you, you're not understanding Jack. I hope you're with me. Okay. Yeah? So, we're going to take a break before we come back. The, um, because, um, uh, but what, before we take a break, I'm going to show you what you need to be aware of. So, uh, just go to the e experience. Oh, my battery is dying. I'll try to spend what is dying at the right time. So, I let me lock that up here. Have you all taken your personality test? Yes. Yeah. Who's not taking your personality test? Please make sure you take your personality test. You know why you need to take a personality test? Yeah? Because the man's gift will make way for him and the man's gift will bring him before kings. You can't be carrying someone else's gift and expect way to be made for you. If you are not, if you are not an analyst, stop trying to be one. 
you're probably more of a manager. Does it make sense? Yeah, what is natural to you, nobody needs to force you to do. So I encourage you to take your personality there so that you, you by yourself will be going into those projects because it's what you are good at. I hope it makes sense. Yeah, it will you get your success rate. Yes. When I took the test, I got seven Yeah, so you're multi, you're, what happens is that you're an all rounder. So now, and those, those are based on the answers you gave. Yeah. You agree with each of them, right? Yeah. It just means that you can do any of these jobs. You don't need to decide which one you want. So how do I decide? Oh, you just get your hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You've been given opportunities, yeah? These are what you could do. So now, when they are working on projects, go, go, go and look at the person who's doing this. Go and look at the person who's doing this. And try it out yourself. And before you know it, you will discover where you belong. You're not the same thing I got. Yeah, yeah, that, no, it's normal because the truth of the matter is that many are giving. Let me be honest with you. There is everybody is, in fact, Nigerians, yeah? Nigerians are multi talented. You need to understand that, yeah? Our bad reputation is because we are hungry, it's not because we're crooked. Do you, do you get my point? Yeah. Me, I have nothing but admiration and respect for Yahoo Yahoo people. Yeah, and the Yahoo Plus ones, the ones. Yeah. I have nothing but respect for them. Why? Because I don't know how they do what they do. Do, do you understand? Like when I when I see them, when they, I see them, they catch them on TV and they all rap. I'm like, this is genius. This is a really <laughs> smart. They used it in the wrong way, yes. but that's a bloody smart person. Yes. Do you understand? Do you know what it means yes. to be able to? <laughs> Sit down and talk to somebody and give them the impression that you love them. Even make them come from where they are, to Nigeria. Go and rent a short apartment. Make them feel that it's your house, that you are living like a king. Go and marry them in Nigeria. Get your American passport and then go to America. Open bank account and scam all the banks and bring the money here and you're a millionaire. Damn! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody with a serious high IQ, you're just a heartless person. <laughs> you understand? So you, I have nothing but respect for these guys. It's just that our country, if our country gives us the opportunity, we'll use it in a better way. So the reason why you have many, many talents is because you're multi-talented. And you know why? Tell me which Nigerian is not an analyst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Think about it. You drop money just like, don't you think about it 1,000 yes. times? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like 20, like, oh, you, you think about it like there is no small room. Yeah? Who's, uh, let me, I'll give an example. This one is actually quite funny. I was dating this, this lovely, amazing girl, you know, and she now called me and said, um, like, I feel about three months, so I'm for myself, what exactly are we doing? So, uh, I said, I'm not too sure. Then let's see how it goes. I don't have time to see how it goes. You want to see how it goes. This is how the money costs you. <laughs> but if you want a serious relationship, then I know I have a future. When I decide how much it's going to cost me, I said, I'm with you. <laughs> she analyzed the situation. There's no need to mess around. Do you understand my point? Yeah? Analyst. Every Nigerian is a manager. <laughs> Do you know why? Because how we survive in this country, no 24 elections, so, so seven elections. Do you know what it means not to have to report it? The, the, um, um, last month, we didn't have light for four hours. They called ambulance. Mm. Yeah? They called ambulance. They called fire brigade. They called the police. Four hours. Light just went off. Yeah? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is it <laughs> that? <laughs> Why? Very plain and very simple. There's some people that maybe they're pacemaker, yeah. they need electricity, so when that goes, when there's no light, oh. they could die. Yeah. You know, they, oh, they just, God. but in Nigeria, <laughs> we have to manage everything oh, my God. as it is. We know, do you see where I'm coming from? So, why are you to tell me I'm not a manager? Why are you to tell me I'm not an analyst? 
And that is why when you take your personality test, because of what you have faced in life and because your brain is forced, <laughs> because your brain is forced to, to find a solution, you will realize that you are data analyst, project manager, business scientist, product owner, you are everything. And you can do anything, any one of them, no problem. So don't be afraid. It is it is it is um, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And that is why you will find that most Nigerians out of this country do exceedingly well. Yeah. But just you need to understand that if you make mistakes in this country, you will do well. That one is a guarantee. I hope it makes sense. Yeah, but you can still do well here. <laughs> okay? Yeah? So let's come back over here. Uh, your life training, so this is your tutorials. So I want to show you how ah uh, actually now like just when I was about to show you how it works. Okay, I'll show you how it works when we come back from our break. Um, I'll show you how it works when we come back from our break. Okay, so what's the time now? Um, one fifty-five. Yeah, so one fifty-five right now. Uh, we'll take a break to two thirty. Yeah, and we'll finish at three o'clock. Okay, we'll have another session next Saturday. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah so that I can yeah. now bring everything together for you. Yeah. And if I stay another Saturday, I'll have another session with you. At least we'll cover everything you need to know. Okay? So, how do you all feel now? With clarity? Yeah. 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 It makes sense? Yes. yes. Did somebody say no? So I can help. Yes, I said no. Huh? Yes, I said no. Okay, what's the no? Uh, you know, it is I'm still very new to the terms. Yeah. Uh, waterfall, I was looking for it. Yeah, no more. You see those terms, those terms. No, no, you see those terms. When you start to get involved in the projects, they will come natural. The, 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 the thing is that, uh, as I said, don't worry. See, the video watching, yeah, is, is it, um, is, is, it complements what you are doing. That is not the goal. The main thing you want is, the, is, is, is to get involved in projects. So when you get into a project, for example, there will be a meeting that got said, well, they say, oh, we're using the waterfall approach or we're using that approach. All you are doing is I'm gonna like I'm gonna I'm gonna re-explain like the next session we have, I'm not gonna break everything down. But today is for you to have, you know, I always tell people you can't what you don't understand, if you don't have understanding or you have knowledge, it's useless. So today is to bring understanding to why we do what we do. Nobody now nobody needs to tell you to go and master data now. You know why you need to master it. Nobody needs to tell you why you need a digital product. You know why. Nobody needs to tell you why you need to be customer centric. You know why. Nobody needs to tell you why you should build small, small and deliver incrementally. You know why. I would make sense because you can see the value of it and you can see it based on a real product. Now, let us start teaching them. Everything from next week, everything will just make sense like this. I hope you will Yeah? Cool stuff. You can actually stop the recording from them. Yeah. Reason being, so whatever I'm going to teach now, like for the half an hour, I will teach next week again. Okay. Yeah, so that, that way they will so they can stop. Yeah. But let's um, wait. Is that, is that okay? Yeah. All right, so that's good. Okay. So, right, end. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye bye. See you next week. Bye bye. End. Okay.